Hi, I'm David Stjernholm and this is the 508th edition of Done. Today's episode is about how to work more efficiently from home. Judging by what I hear from my clients, many of us will be working at least partially from home even after this dreadful virus is gone. Some love it, but others are sick and tired of this seemingly endless new normal. So, how does working from home affect our efficiency? In a very recent Japanese study, the researchers looked into the effects of working from home at four major production companies. And it turned out that the well-being of the participants in the study went up, but that the general productivity and efficiency went down compared to when everyone worked from their offices as they normally would. What was the primary reason for the drop in efficiency? Well, Based on the answers given by the participants, the researchers found three main factors impacting their productivity. The first, poor home office environments. Many participants felt that the physical workspace they managed to construct at home was much worse than their workstations at the office. The second, difficulty reaching necessary documents remotely. The participants had less access to the digital documents and systems they depended on to do their jobs. And the third, poor communication with colleagues and clients. Many participants felt that the digital meetings didn't match the quality and effect of physical meetings. I'm assuming that you have more or less found your own way to work from home that you like and that works as well as it can, given the circumstances. But perhaps you still haven't found the ultimate and perfect solutions. Speaking for myself, there's always something I can do or refine that can make my work a little easier. So, right now or during the day today, make a move to improve your prerequisites and with them the chances that you maintain the same level of efficiency at home as you'd have when working from the office. Do this. If you're currently working from home, take a look around you. If you're somewhere completely different when listening to this, at least think about what your home office is like. Ask yourself, what could you improve in your home office to make work in there even easier? Can you make more space for some material or things you need to do in your work, which you currently don't have enough room for? Would it be better or easier to relocate within your home and find a different place to use as your workstation? Can you do something to make sure you're allowed to work with fewer distractions or interruptions and with more concentration instead? Is there something you keep catching a glance of that makes you think of other things unnecessarily when you need to concentrate? Can you think of a way to be alone or close the door more often to work in peace than you previously have? Is there something you could do or refine to keep your mood high and your motivation up throughout the day? Is there something you could add or remove? Do you need access to some kind of data from home as well, which you have a hard time reaching when you're not at the office? If you can think of anything, and I mean anything, that can improve your home office and thereby the prerequisites for you doing your job well, take that step or do that thing straight away. If you come to think of several things you could change but which you don't have time to take action on right now, add them to your to-do list so that it becomes as easy as possible to refine your work environment and, with it, improve your chances of working with the same efficiency as you would at work. Take the first small step right now. Well done, you've just done something concrete to improve your situation. Because if you make an effort to improve upon your home office environment in any way you can, you'll set yourself up for as much success as you can in terms of working with efficiency from home from the next while ahead. You'll enjoy your work days more, even if you're one of the people who would love nothing more than primarily being back at the office again. By the way, it turned out that 74% of the participants in the study I mentioned wanted to keep working from home for one or a few days every week once the pandemic is over. I've heard the same wishes from many of my clients. So if this is true for you as well, optimizing our home office can therefore be something you find useful for the foreseeable future, regardless of whether there's a pandemic or not. 
What clever solution are you particularly happy with when it comes to your home office? I'm very curious, so please get in touch and tell or show me by emailing david at stjernholm.com. Thanks for joining me today and see you in next week's edition of Done.